So this is either good news and or bad news, depending on how you look at it. But according to recent reports, the upcoming Daredevil Born Again will not be labeled as a Marvel Studios production under the Marvel Studios banner. Instead, it's going to be going under Marvel Spotlight. So by all accounts, future street projects that Marvel Studios wants to play around with will be labeled under the Marvel Studios Spotlight. And with recent reports that Daredevil Born Again, with major changes that are being implemented by the new showrunner and the new direction, are going to make the series MA rating, aka R rated technically if it was a film, we are now hearing speculation that Marvel Studios has decided that Daredevil Born Again, while part of the MCU, will not have a Marvel Studios label on it, and that this is due to the fact that it is going to be more violent, and that they do want it under the Marvel Spotlight banner to clearly distinguish that this is a more violent approach to Marvel, and that this isn't meant necessarily for kids that can just turn on Disney+. Plus. You have to enable the mature rating. Now, I can see why some people might take this as a sort of, well, Daredevil's not in the MCU. He is. He is. This series will be in the MCU. It's picking up the pieces off of Echo and Spider-Man. But setting it under the spotlight banner means that they can go more violent and produce content like they did on Netflix and not have to worry about all the restrictions that they would be provided if it was only a you know, rated teen series, like most of the MCU ones, or rated whatever, you know, whatever that rating was for the last couple. I know they go up and down with the age range slightly, but you get what I'm saying. They don't have to worry about it and then getting censored. They can do whatever they want. They can be as violent as they want. They can do the storyline with Frank Castle going after corrupt badges that are using the Punisher skull and the blue line in it, like we heard they're going to. And they don't have to worry about this being on a core Disney channel, which also gives them more reach when it comes to where they can put this, for example, like on FX or Hulu. And it gives them a significant boost to their reach, which again is the key here and why Marvel Spotlight is a smart approach to this. They can take these series and really focus on where they fall in terms of their own structure and not have to bend over backwards to make sure that they adhere to a specific law that has to be applied to every Marvel Studios project. Which, let's be real, even as a fan of the MCU, there's projects that should have been already like this, but I guess Marvel Studios can commit to it. Now they can because they got a legit outlet. So Daredevil Born Again not being a Marvel Studios branded thing is honestly, I think, what everybody should want because it takes us back to exactly what we wanted when they announced Daredevil was happening, an adult series. <laughs>